I got a question. How many of you out there voting for Hillary? I'm curious. I'm not. How many of you are voting for Trump? I'm curious because I'm not. How many of you wanted Bernie to win? I sure as hell did. I wanted Bernie to win with a burning passion. I was posting on Facebook, posting on Twitter. I was doing all kinds of things. I was following every hashtag and everything I could. And I was trying to support everything in comment sections on TYT because that's pretty much all the power I got. Just like anyone else out there, unless you have a whole lot of money. Um, I'm going to be blunt. We never had the chance to vote who we wanted to vote for. We had only the options presented to us by the RNC, the DNC, and whoever Obama would talk about. And that's criminal, in my opinion, because they control the media just as much. The media wants access, and if they're going to get access, they have to do exactly what the DNC and the RNC tell them to do. They don't have the option of, hey, let's do some actual journalism, get the truth, and then report it to the people and have them make an informed decision. That's not going to happen. When the DNC corrupts itself in favor of one candidate, that is voter fraud because they are literally making sure you can't vote for the candidate you want to vote for. There is a clip that's out there, not many know about it, of Debbie Washerman Schultz. That clip, within it, Debbie admits wholeheartedly of the corruption of the Democratic National Committee. And that clip is here. I'm very proud of my tenure at the Democratic National Committee. Uh, when the President of the United States asks you to do anything, it is an, a tremendous honor, especially when you've been asked by the President to watch his back help bring him in across the finish line. I was a key part of helping President Obama get reelected in 2012, and the work we did to prepare for Hillary Clinton to be our nominee and then make sure that we could get her elected president is, uh, is absolutely critical. Now, seeing as how things are as corrupt as they are, people are still going to vote for who they want to vote for. They don't care that Hillary used her private server that she had placed into her own home and that server was hacked by the Russians and sent to WikiLeaks. The Russians hacked U.S. government files and sent it to WikiLeaks to tell on them to us. Russia is helping us more than our own government. That's very pathetic. I would like for everyone to help themselves. Just think about it. Those of you who ever hear this and listen, think about it. You can vote for somebody different. You can vote for Jill Stein. You can vote for Gary Johnson. You can vote for, uh, who is it in North Carolina? D's Nuts that had 9% those months ago. I wonder how D's Nuts is feeling in the polls these days. Are D's Nuts actually feeling terrible about the drop in numbers? Is D's Nuts happy about what's going on in the political arena right now in the general election? I'm curious about D's Nuts. <sighs> okay, that's it. Thank you for listening.